What's up everybody, it's your boy Slim, AKA Mr. Different back with another video. Sorry that I've been gone, I was sick, I couldn't breathe, running nose, allergies, coughing. It was just hell this week. I was just completely sick the whole week. I'm finally getting better. Still you can hear my voice a little bit eh, but it is what it is. But I'm back with another video for you guys. But before we get into this special video, if you can hit that subscribe button and the bell notification and also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and SoundCloud to keep up to date with everything so you can be, you know, knowing when I'm back and all this good stuff and just, you know, follow your boy. Man, you know? But anyway, let's get right to this. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to make your very own custom break beats. Now, why I'm going to do that? Because, well, one, I begin to lo-fi back in the lo-fi once again and i've been using a lot of break beats and a lot of um stuff of that nature on um, break beats or sample break beats and i've been making my own as well and I, I like to use break beats in there and two i was working on a break beat kit for you guys but then i was like why am i making a break beat kit when i can just teach you guys how to make your own break beats for free yeah better value for you guys and you know save money so we're gonna do that today i'm gonna teach you guys how to make your own break beats now you're gonna need a couple of things first thing you need some samples now you can either use some drum acoustic samples you find, some lo-fi samples, some vinyl samples. I don't care. Use whatever you use. Find whatever you need to find. You know, just find some samples that way. Or you can get like a BST. I'm using the Contact um, uh, 60s drums from Native Instruments. Um, it's a, a 60s drum acoustic sound, so that's good. You can use Easy Drummer. You can use Addictive Drummer. Um, there's other stuff out there. Whatever. Do what you got to do to get your drum sounds, but you want acoustic drum sounds. Whether they're vintage, new, old, it don't matter because we're going to process them anyway and make them sound you know, kind of messed up in the end, in the long run. So yeah. So yeah, here's what mine sound like. You know, just some acoustic drum sound. And one thing I like about you know using like a VST is it has velocities too, so You know, you got different velocities so you can get variation. Because that's going to be the key to making our patterns. It's going to be timing and variation. You want to make sure you have different timings of hits and different variations within velocity and stuff like that. Because a real drummer isn't perfect. And you got to keep that in mind when making break beats. So making break beats that sound close to the real thing, you know. And so you can't get away with a couple of things. But, you know, you want to make it sound as real and as vintage as possible. So variation and timing will play a big part. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and start making the kit. So... What I like to do first, start off with my hi-hat. So that's going to be my hi-hat right there. So one way I like to make kind of a realistic hi-hat symbol is to pretty much make a repetitive motion but change the velocities. The velocity change is going to give it that kind of movement. So if I do this, if I do something like this, that doesn't sound realistic. But say I do like this. You see how the, the difference between it is, you know, from like I said, being standard. We'll just make them all same velocity again. You know, so just changing the velocities on the hi-hats and make them go down, just get that rhythm. And then I'm going to copy it over four times and there you go. We're going to make it sound more realistic as well. And I said, you can go in, you can even change it up some more you know just make it random velocities and I say you can always use the alt r function so alt r and you can always change velocities you know kind of you know change velocities keep the panning centered but you know you always change the velocities you know but I like to do it manually just personal preference so whatever works for you work with it Okay, now I'm going to do my snare. Okay, I like that one. I like the little, little snare. And then we're going to have to make this a little louder. And how I did that is I held control and I clicked the note. And it highlights all of them. And if you hold Alt, Alt and use your scroll wheel, you can bring up the velocity. Okay. And I say it sounds very quantized and very unrealistic right now, but we're going to get to how to make it sound a little bit better. Now I'm going to add my drums in there. So let's make a, you know, let's find like a little beat. Okay. 
I like it. And then we're going to add, let's see. Hmm, let's actually copy this and then add another hit. Put it right there. Let's add another one there. No. All right, let's say control this, and then we're going to go to Alt R. We're going to randomize those velocities a little bit to kind of just that, and then kind of drag them down just a little bit. Okay, and then, you know, we're going to copy. We're going to highlight that one. Maybe bring it down a little bit more. Highlight this one, and bring that one down just a little bit right there. Bring that down a little more because he double hitting it. Yeah, there we go. All right, and then we're gonna add some some symbols. Let's see. Nice. So, and then we're gonna take away the hi hats at this part to kind of make it sound, you know, because you can't really hit the symbol and the hi hat at the same time. As it, usually they, they call it choking it, and that kind of just kind of makes it, you know, different. And it kind of reduces that. Most plugins have that function too, so I think this plugin actually has that function. Okay, so, you know, we already got the basic pattern. I'm just kind of, you know, cleaning it up a little bit. And I'm going to, let's say, definitely volume and change the volume on these. I like that it has a little, like, you can tell like he, like he messed up a little bit. Okay, I like that. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to record it. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm skipping ahead. Now we're going to add some, some timing issues to it. So what I have to do is to take the swing knob and just turn the swing up. Turn it to about 40. 40 and up gives you a nice sound. So now you have... Now listen to like before, you know, no swing. It's like standard hip hop type stuff, but then you know they like want that break beat kind of sound. And like I said, with the variations and the timing, the variation plus the timing issues, now you have that kind of kind of break beat sound, you know, and it's really good. Like I said, it sounds really good. It, at this point, it's pretty much the taste. You can go more swing, less swing. It's up to you. I'm not telling you right, right or wrong. You can have no swing if you want to, or you can have a lot of swing. That's up to you. So let's go ahead and record this in there. Like I said, what I like to do, I like to use Edison, because Edison's dope. Uh, so we just bring up Edison, go to, where is it? Where the freak is Edison? I think it's in visuals. No. Pictures? Miscellaneous, there we go, Edison. So I'm gonna put it on, I like to change it on forever. And then we're gonna put it on on play. Gonna have it synced up. And then let's record. And I need to record one loop. And then I just double click this, go to the, the little cut tool, go to trim. And then you can normalize if you want to. You know, there you go. So now we're gonna take this, go to our pattern, and then we're gonna go back to Edison. Boom, boom, Edison. I'm gonna drag it in there. There we go, we have our loop now. So now you can loop, you can save this, whatever. You're pretty much done at this point. You know, but we're gonna add it, we're gonna process some more now. So I'm gonna set to there, so. Set to channel one, so you know, you can just 
right click there go to channel one bring the volume down a little bit so yeah let's go ahead and process this now one thing i like to do first me personally like you can do anything you want to you can distort it saturate it warp it all that i like to use decimal so i have to go to decimal of course <sighs> log in the splice as usual because my splice is never never opening when i need it to be splice thank you thank you Eek. boom yeah see i buy, I buy my plugins <laughs> and i'm gonna go to samplers and then i'm gonna go to mp60 so mpc60 so this is before you know we can use the asr10 sp1200 I'm gonna use the S I'm gonna use the, <coughs> the MPC 60 because it's just I don't know it just gives that punch, and I'm gonna use a new plugin that I just got that somebody put me on, and I want to shout out to that uh, I forgot the guy's name but he mentioned this plugin I bought it it is called RC20 if you want me to do a review on it I will uh, new favorite lo-fi plugin yes I love it now I, it's amazing so what this allows you to do is it pretty much has everything that you need to make lo-fi music um noise wobble distortion uh bit crushing reverb and then also tape flutter and then you also got filters but i said i'll do a full in-depth review on it if you guys want me to i don't mind doing that just like the video leave it in the comments and i'll do a view on it so let's add some noise to it so add some vinyl noise and we'll have it follow so it only comes in when the sample come in duck it a little bit make it more in the low end all right we'll add some distortion to it we'll do some hmm, we got tube transformer we'll use tubes because it's old school Uh, we'll do some bit crushing. Of course, we'll add some space to it. Just reverb. Hmm. And I'm going to use a special tool I got. I'm going to figure out the pre delay real quick. Give me. One second. One. Now nah, we just. I'll do that later. I ain't got time for that crap. I'm gonna do about twenty-seven. Yeah. Then we we'll add some. Wow. That kind of warping effect. Don't want too much. Just a little bit. A little flanger, <laughs> but now make it a slow rate, and then to finish it off, we'll cut some of them highs. So we'll just cut the highs. Okay, this is, you know, and there you go. We got our own little break beat that we can, you know, we can now pitch correct and all. We can all pitch shift and all that kind of stuff. And you know, we went from this. very simple like i said then if you need to change it to a different beat you can you know stretch it out of course stretch that bad boy oh we got time stretch it hold on we got 90 and then time stretch it there we go Oh, I might just make a beat with that right now. But yeah, simple techniques right there. Like I said, the main thing is just remember your velocity changes, your timing, and then like I said, just process the shit out of it. Don't be afraid to really destroy and mangle the sound. Cause I said, old school recordings sounded old school because like I said they had bad, you know, 
they had bad quality converters and this and that and old school stuff and no highs and it's, all that stuff combines will make it sound more authentic and more realistic so hope you guys learned something if you enjoyed this video please thumb the video up if you got any more questions or want me to cover something else please leave a comment below so i can do that um subscribe y'all know what it is your boy slim aka mr different not motivated by the money but the like comments got in views i do appreciate you guys for coming through and i will see you guys in the next video have a good one everybody